Is that Nuvulet with a bowl of French onion soup? Ate that soup, huh? For those who don't know, soup teams refer to teams that consist of Hydro, Animo, Electro, and Pyro. As for the origins of the name, I'm unsure of. Someone must have been pretty hungry spending their savings on Prima Gems rather than food. But enough said, let's see what team we're cooking up today. We have Nuvulet as our on-field Hydro, Fischl as our off-field Electro, Kaza as our elemental damage buffer, and Bennett as our attack damage buffer for Fischl, along with being an enabler for Kaza to absorb Pyro for Kaza Slash. This team is essentially Nuvulet plus Overload Kaza, or as I like to call it, Overload Soup. Even though technically Kaza is unable to overload on each and every DOT of his burst, but we won't stress over the technical details. The main focus points of the rotation though will be getting all three stacks from Nuvulet's first ascension passive, and having Kaza swirl all three elements. That's why we need a team with four different elements. Now, knowing this, you might have a few questions. What reactions do we need for this team to acquire all three stacks from Nivulet's passive? Vaporize, Electro Charge, and Hydro Swirl. Is it even possible to swirl all three elements? Yep, setup is not too complicated either, but was a pain to figure out. As long as you swirl Hydro though, it's all good. Why swirl Pyro? Pyro Swirl actually benefits Kaza, allowing for overload damage from his Pyro infused burst to be increased by VV Shred, along with Kaza's elemental absorption damage though it's quite unnecessary and done solely for style points. Final question, why not just use Zhongli? I don't have Zhongli. Anyways, before we construct our rotation, carefully consider the amount of time it takes to like and subscribe along with the time it takes to cycle through our rotation. For rotation timing, I typically look for the ability with the longest cooldown that is going to repeat off cooldown per rotation, though it doesn't have to be the case for every rotation. In this case, it so happened to be official skill cooldown which is 25 seconds. You could alternate between official skill and burst per rotation to shorten the time, but I decided not to in order to increase Nuvulet's on-field time for his Hydro Pump. So our rotation is going to be 25 seconds or more when accounting for human error, such as myself. But the main goal of rotation, as mentioned before, get three stacks of Nuvulet's passive and triple sword with Kasa. With that in mind, let's start the rotation. If the enemy is not already wet, or has Hydro applied to them, we use Nuvulet's normal attack to enable Bennett to vaporize with this skill, activating the first stack of Nuvulet's passive. Follow up with Bennett's burst and special skill. Here, Oz will snapshot Bennett's buff, but won't acquire Kaza's buff if he were to swirl Electra afterwards. And we can't swirl without any form of elemental application beforehand, just like how you can't stir soup without stock, broth, or water. So, to solve this issue, the rotation is designed so that Fischl uses her elemental burst to reset Oz and have him acquire both Kaza and Bennett's buff later down the line. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. We still have to swirl Hydra. So we swap to Nivellet to use his skill and burst to acquire his second stack for his passive through Electro Trench, along with providing enough Hydro application for Kaza to then use his elemental burst to double swirl Hydra and Electro and activate the third and final stack of Nivellet's passive. Without enough Hydro application, the Hydro aura on the enemy would disappear with time, just like my soul has while waiting for Silk Song. It is the most important swirl to not screw up as it contributes to Nivellet's damage. After the Hydro swirl, we then follow up with Kaza's skill to swirl Pyro. Now why burst before skill? Should skill go before burst to energy funnel? Is it a skill issue? Well, it was the only optimal way I found to swirl all three elements or specifically Pyro with a single target. I won't go over and explain all the variations of the rotation I've tested and why they don't work, just know that the main issue comes from official skill and A4 passive applying too much Electro. So we need the off-field Pyro application from Kaza's burst to allow for Pyro application to occur and swirl from. And even within the finalized rotation, you can still screw up his elements of burst timing. Too early and you won't double swirl from his elemental to burst, disallowing the pyro swirl to occur. Too late and you won't swirl pyro because of the timing between Fischl's elemental application and Kaza's pyro application from his burst. The timing is as strict as I'm making out to be, as it's fairly doable, but it wasn't worth figuring out. Um, moving along. We use Fischl's elemental to burst so that we can reset Oz to snapshot Kaza above while Bennett burst is still on field. Then we can finally use Nuvulet's charge attack. If you're wondering, there's still a Nuvulet rotation guide, though it can honestly be labeled as a Kaza one. While you're charge attacking, you can move around to stay out of the range of enemies as Bennett's burst does not do anything for Nuvulet. Just try to keep the enemies contained within Kazala burst and try not to get interrupted during his charge attack. From here, swap to Kaza to use his elemental skill to potentially double swirl. Even though you don't need to swirl Electro to reactivate Electro damage on this buff, since Kaza already snapshot the previous buff, we have to account for Electro Rest Shred from VV. If you don't double swirl, you're mainly looking to swirl Hydro to reactivate Hydro damage bonus for Nuvulet. So I'll back to Nuvulet to use his skill and position yourself so that when you charge attack, you absorb the old water balls rather than the new ones generated from the skill. This is because the old ones will expire when you do your final Hydro Blast to end the rotation. Repeats if needed. The rotation is a little complicated, so here's the rotation order for those willing to try this team. Note that if the target is not afflicted with Hydro before the start of the rotation, use Nuvulet's normal attack to apply Hydro. Also, Kaza is using his tap version of the skill. Feel free to edit the rotation however you like, as I know the last charge attack for the rotation can be a pain to pull off. 
Personally for me, Nebula has been a pretty fun unit to use, as unlike most characters, is able to move around freely and aim while using his charge attack, allowing for a greater sense of mobility and control. It was still generally really nice to have a shield for interrupted resistance. Anyways, that's gonna be all from me. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your night.